yikes. I don't think I've never seen a car as nice as that in my life. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today is going to be something epic because I am surrounded by many incredible cars and you're going to see all in today's video. I'm here at Amari Supercars. Today we're going to get up close and personal with some of the best cars and I'm here for one specific car as well which is probably seen in the title etc all to come in today's video but before we see this incredible car we're going to see some more incredible cars i'm going to show you and we're going to have a little walk around because it really is truly amazing place So it's time to get things underway and what we have here, this is the handover bay. We have a very nice Lusso. That looks flipping amazing. There are a lot of pistas around, ladies and gentlemen. They do very well with pistas. A lot of these are going out the door, as you can uh, imagine. And we go this way. We have Bugatti Veyron, which is here with blue carbon, which is absolutely unbelievable. So how good does that look? unreal i love the look of them and wow 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 with the blue on the wheels as well that is just so so cool and next to it we have a pista which is just here in this amazing color i love the stripe going down the middle that looks unbelievable shining under the lights here i love the lights how coming down and then we're casual we're already two minutes into this video and we've already seen a pista and we've already seen a p1 and then how good does this p1 look they're timeless and i love them and that's amazing and next to it what you can probably see and that is a 918 but how good does this look unbelievable unbelievable so let's go a little bit further on and then we have the porsche 918 spider which is here which again looks absolutely incredible white with the black wheels and then it also has look at all the carbon there and oh they're just they're awesome aren't they the 918s let's be honest this is like heaven here this place it's just absolutely unbelievable very, very nice. So we have more, we have more. We have 812 Superfast, which is here as well. Again, I, I like them. They're becoming down in price as well, by the way. They are cool. And then we also have another one just there as well. Amazing. In yellow, what would you have? Would you have blue or would you have yellow? Mm, you decide. And then we have an F12, which is here. F12 and 812s. Very cool. And then we have a Speciali, and then obviously back to the Pista. But this is, like I say, this is just one of the showrooms, and they've just expanded. Like last time I was here, this wasn't even here. So there's still another showroom to look at next door. And then, don't you worry, the car we are here to see, we are going to see very shortly. <laughs> it's just insane in here. I cannot believe just how many cars there are. It must be about 100 cars. It's just unbelievable. It's one of those places you walk in, you just, it just takes you by. You're just, you're buying it. You buy so many cars. Let's have a little walk around in here then in sort of the second showroom, shall we say. So immediately, Aventador SV. Amazing, I love them in blue. Really, really cool. And then we have one in the yellow, which is similar to the TG spec and then with slightly different wheels, but that looks amazing, doesn't it? The SV's so good. And then what we have through here, a tiny little gap we can get through. What we have here is a Hurricane with a wing. And if you may remember my channel for a couple of years ago, my Hurricane had a wing on it, etc. And uh, this is a Nero design one. 
uh, but doesn't that just look good? I still think the Hurricane looks so good and I prefer it with the sort of slats down the back. And then we have a Performante Spider, which is just here. And then an SVJ, which is just here. Looks awesome, doesn't it? That looks really, really cool. SVJ, love that yellow with the matte roof, etc. That looks insane. And then we have another Hurricane. I still think Hurricanes look awesome. For the money now, 120. 120,000 roughly, 120, 130,000. Such good value. And then casually have another SV, the Ventador, which is really cool. These are roughly 210, 220, I think, I believe. And this one has a little wing on the back of it as well, as you can see just there. So we do have the classics as well. <sighs> Insane, so many different types of specs. It's just an amazing place. <sighs> And then in yellow, <laughs> I just walk straight past this and it just looks insane. 458, look how cool that looks. And then what we've been talking about here, and that is the value for money of AMG GTRs. We actually had this conversation when I arrived. They are now such a good value for money and look amazing as well. And then what we have behind, this is like the kind of Porsche corner with an AMG GTR just casually on the end. But behind me, we don't have one. Porsche Turbo S exclusive series car. We have two. Doesn't that look insane? Both of these Turbo S exclusive series holding money really well because they're rare. That's the thing. You might be thinking, why the hell isn't it Porsche Turbo S uh, that sort of money? Well, they're rare and uh, look amazing, don't they? I love the gold. I really love the gold. I personally, that's how I choose it. I like sort of bold colours, but yeah, amazing. Sort of like a collector's item, so to speak, but a Turbo S. And then we come to the the daddies in my, in my eyes gt3 rs gen 2 black with gold wheels again timeless such a good car these are, we were just actually talking also about porsche prices going up going down but fundamentally saying exactly the same um staying so strong not losing any money and i love that black with the gold wheels looks really really good that doesn't it and then when we go a little bit further on, we have another GT3 RS, which is just here as well. If the blue, so the Miami blue with the gray wheels. Look at this. Flipping out. The nicest car I think I've ever seen. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. That is unbelievable. Woo! Cold start. Yikes. I don't think I've never seen a car as nice as that in my life. Look at the lights at the back. Flipping out. Let's see if we can get a view from it outside. Here we go. Oh. Flipping out. That is outrageous. Look at that. Whoa. Absolutely insane, ladies and gentlemen. So, wow. Oh my good God. When Amari called me up and he said, you never got, guess what I've gone and bought. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I've seen so many cars over my time in terms of doing this channel, but there are, there are very few which take your breath away. That is specifically one. The Bugatti Chiron Sport no Noir, I think it's called, but it's just insane. The matte black and everything. And how it is out here in the light, it is utterly absurd. Let's have a look around what you guys have probably been waiting for, and this is it. This car, wow, it's in a matte finish, but when you look up close, it's when you see all the carbon here. Look at the carbon down there, and also the satin, and look at the carbon in, in there as well. It is in 
flipping sane. I mean, have you ever seen a car on camera which looks as good as this? And then when you come to the back, it's all the carbon here. Look at all the carbon absolutely everywhere. Chiron Sport just there on the fuel cap. The satin wheels, which look ridiculous. And I really like how this car is stealthed out. I just think it suits it perfectly. I've seen Chirons over the years, and I always thought to myself, there needs to be one that is stealthed out. And I'm obsessed with satin black cars, and this is ridiculous. Join me on board, the Chiron. I mean, if you're going, look at this down here, how it's all lit, it is mad absolutely madness starter up just there i believe but we're not going to do that and under the wing there is something as well it says noir just there and then the four pipes they're chaos i mean this place is chaos just an svj casually moving around right let's bring in the main man well one of the main men here how are we sir i'm very well we're going to get you to talk all things about this amazing car. All things about it, because uh, you are, you're clued up with this and I'll probably get it all wrong. How did it all come about? Well, back in 2016 at Geneva, Amari went to order a, a standard Chiron as it were, and for one thing or another, the order wasn't fulfilled. <laughs> and then last year, a call came from the factory saying, we're doing this run of 20 Noir cars. Yeah. Uh, do you want one? Um, and then December this year, this turned up outside. Wow. So literally, it was a quick sort of quick fire decision. Do you... an, an impulsive man, shall we say, when it comes to, to things like this. Yeah, he is, yeah. Um, but then the car, he, he tweaked with it a bit. So it came in two versions. You could have an elegance version, which was all gloss. Yeah. And a sporty version, which was all matte. And because no one wants to be the same as anyone else. Yeah. We asked um, if we could do a bit of a mix. So it's the only one in this combination. Wow. The best of both cars, as it were. So the front half of the car is all matte carbon. Yeah. And then the back gloss. And then the, the C line was done in, in matte and the grills. Oh, the sea line, this, I was gonna, oh, that's, I'd never even noticed that. Yeah, so that, that yeah. was matte. So on the, that's from the sportive side. Yeah. On the elegance, that would have been silver. Yeah. As would the, the horseshoe grill. Yeah. Um, and the exhaust. Um, but then, little touches, so the Noir badges. Yeah. We had those kept in silver, so one there. Yeah. Behind the wheel, and then one. And then one under the wing, nice which is just the there. Wing. And then obviously the car is a based off the Chiron Sport, so 1500 horsepower and then 18 kilograms lighter. So how what, how much different is this to a normal Chiron? What's the difference with a Sport, etc.? Lighter. Really? 100,000 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> They're 100 grand more? Yeah. Wow. 18 kilograms lighter. Uh, top speed is still limited at 261 um, and we've got a very good friend and client who informs me reliably it can get to 261 and sit there with no problem at all so it can do 300 we, we've not <laughs> to try that. you've not done that round preston yet no. um wow okay and then what it, i mean what are these worth these days a, a large amount a lot yeah. get in touch <laughs> If, yeah, if you're interested, because this is this is on the website. This is for sale. Uh, so this is yeah, someone is gonna, and people have been calling you up. We've had a, a few good calls. We had a, we, we'd quite like to keep the car in the UK because it makes it easy for us to buy it back when we're yeah when someone's finished. We we had a couple of interested parties from the Far East. Okay, we'll, we'll see. See where it ends up. I don't think it'll stick around for too long. No, it's it's not going to stick around, and that is the most ridiculous car I've ever seen. And you, like we said, one of the my favourite feature of it, the Bugatti badge, is actually solid silver with black enamel. 
Wow. And what is the, probably the most ridiculous car I've ever seen. One little last walk around the car before I head on my way. And uh, I won't forget this for a long time. So there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video with the Bugatti Chiron Sport Noir. I just stood there afterwards and just looked at it for ages because it was such an amazingly good looking car. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoyed it because it was just an amazing opportunity. And uh, times like that, when you get the chance to film cars like that, you just have to pinch yourself. Some lucky person is going to get the chance to own that. And... Uh, <laughs> I can only dream of it. I'll leave all the details to Amari Supercars down below. Check out their Instagram, their website. They do loads of other cars, as you saw. Uh, not only that, there's more. There was an RSQ3 going out and other stuff. So go and check it out. Truly amazing. A massive thank you to them. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. I'll see you all very soon.